Hey, it's Amy K, and welcome back to Sim by Design with another Sims 4 speed build. As you can see, I did something a little bit different in editing, and I put the preliminary floor plans first before the actual speed build, just because I wanted to try something a little different and show you guys what I wanted it to look like, and then you can see how it evolves as I build it, and eventually what it comes out to be. Um, but this one is kind of inspired by a um, very 60s, I want to say, yeah, very 60s uh, out exterior, but with a modern twist. Um, it's also very much inspired as well by this school I drive by on my way to my new job, and the fact that we have half walls as well. Um, the, like that, three column with the three walls kind of was very much the inspiration for that um kind of 60s modern feel and then I felt putting the white lower like lowest wall was a very much a 60s touch and then the new stuff like the everything for the spa day Oh my gosh, I'm in love with. Like, I use so much of it in this build. You wouldn't even believe. And here's where I'm really upset that they won't let you do, like, double dagger windows or whatever. Or stack windows on top of each other or with doors. It's because I would have loved to have been able to do those one windows all around the top of the, um, like, walls. Because I did the medium height walls with the tallest... Um, half wall to give it kind of this cool like it was all open and then whoever came in here renovated it and added in these kind of like half walls so you could like see over top of it if you were on a stool I guess you could say or on a ladder and then um, added on this little spa slash pool slash deck slash something area um, you'll see how every, like, everything changes a lot. Um, I start tiering these walls because I, I think it looks super cool with them tiered. Um, it just gives it like this extra sort of dimension. And then I add in some like landscaping. But then I remember that we have fountains. And all these fountain features are super cool. But it won't let you put like walls over the foundation or over the fountains so I just ended up adding some uh, landscaping over the area that it wouldn't let me put a fountain along with this beautiful waterfall fountain which I do end up adding another one in randomly into the back I think without like any fountain underneath it just because I wanted to have that fixture there um yeah, so just adding a little bit of landscaping in. I didn't go too overboard. I kind of just did a little bit of landscaping. And then here I'm putting in the um, red, white, and black kitchen I did last Friday. Yes, last Friday. Um, to take to move to this like outdoor grill cooking area. And those new chandeliers. Can I just talk about how much I am obsessed with those new chandeliers? Um... I really wish they were shorter because I really wanted to put one with the over the hot tub but they just looked so so weird and then I end up just doing the same floor throughout the entire house because like I said it was like an open floor plan kind of renovated type thing and then um, I think one thing that I did forget to do I had a bar in the like patio area but I take it out I believe and I forget to replace it uh, when I do the like pool slash patio area um, yeah I spend a lot of time on this kind of patio exterior place oh I think here's where I'm adding the bar I do have the bar I just forgot I did that. It took me, like, I had so much trouble with the corner cabinets 
on both this patio and on the interior um, like bar stool. You'll see that um, towards the end of the video. Um, and then I'm just adding in some greenery and then the new the spot I said has these cool pool lights and wall lights that I just had to add into the pool just because it gave it something super interesting and fun um just a sec oh my cat wants out of my room and I'm not going to let her um just finishing off the pool deck area giving them like a little seating area I want to do these like light things that came with the perfect patio stuff but it just ended up looking awkward um, there's the fountain I guess it did have a base it wasn't the same kind of fountain as what was out front um, and then I thought those lights were really cool I think James from the sim supply had done that like put the lights in a bush or something when he did his perfect patio build and then those like kind of square cut out tables I use kind of almost too much in this build. Um, I just like am obsessed with them. And there is a part coming up in just a second where I cut out a little bit because it was just like I recorded it and something was wrong with the video so I just stopped recording the video and cut it out. But it's not like that big of a deal. I just placed like candles and soap or something on the sink. Um, that That's one of the new sinks with Spa Day it's really cool like see you can see there the soap and cups and candles I placed those and then took them out or placed those and then just cut the video part of that out but you'll see in the screenshots I moved the soap from the counter onto the half wall type thing next to it um, just because I forgot that we could do that until I was doing the living room like oh well I should do that so I did that like as I was taking the screenshots so you'll see in the screenshots but not necessarily in the build um, now I'm just going through all the cool little potted plants that they gave us with this new update and this mint color can we just talk about how much I wish we had that mint color as like more swatches of that for something like it I want it as like a bed sheet type thing or something to go with the bed that I have in there at the moment. It's such a pretty color. And those pedestals from Get to Work, I wish you could add more stuff on them without using the move objects like up and down sheet, the um, shift 9 and 0, because I don't like using that very much because every time I upload this to the gallery, it's seems to delete them or when you change wallpaper it deletes them um, just playing around with the new mirrors and get used to this big rectangle uh, side table thing because I use that quite a bit in the living room and I think I'm going to be starting on the kitchen any second now so I guess uh, I just want to talk about why I built this house like I know I said it was inspired by kind of the 60s slash modern type thing um, but it is like very much, I call it a uh, fancy bachelor because it's very much like a bachelor pad or I mean I guess it could be for like a girl who lives up on her own. And this is where I'm having trouble with the corners, just kind of like sidetracking myself. Um, the corner of that just would not fit together for some reason. It was just these cabinets too. So I think I end up going with that corner and keeping, like putting some plants in there and making it like a bar stool, like seating area, along with this dining area, which I was like, oh, I'll just do some nice cushiony chairs, but then they looked weird, so I was like, I added the wooden chairs instead. But I do go for a very kind of gray cream light wood theme if you couldn't tell um in this build I and I with a blue accents I believe like yeah a lot of like deep blue accents which I thought that color scheme worked really well especially since there's kind of like a bluish in the rock um stone type thing that I used um so I did a lot of 
a blue accent in this. And I think it turned out really cool. I'm really, really happy with all the new stuff that The Sims is putting out. Like, yay. They're just kicking it out of the park. Like, it's kicking it out of the park? Knocking it out of the park. They are knocking it out of the park. It's just like, it's everything is so cool looking. Like, everything they add, it just, it fits perfectly. Um, I love, like, I don't know, you guys probably know this about me if you've been watching my videos for a while. Um, the, here's the final screenshot. Looks slightly different from the original. Um, but then we're going into screenshots. If you've been watching me for a while, you know I love modern houses, but I just don't feel like I'm the best at building them. But with this new spa, because uh, it's not really an expansion pack or a stuff pack, it's... I don't remember the technical term for it, but with the new spa, like, spa day pack, they, like, make it so easy to give your house a very modern feel, and with the new game update because of the half walls, um, and the sizing and stuff, like, it's just, I love everything about what they've been doing in the past, like, two weeks. Uh, it just gives everything this really cool vibe. Um, and then, see, this is where the, like, half walls, like, the taller half walls look really, really nice uh, in this build. Like, I just think that's really cool that you can kind of see the light shining from another room in the house. Um, and that gives it, like, a, so much more of a modern feel, and I really, really enjoy that. Um... But yeah, I think I'll have another house build for next week. I'm starting to get into the swing of things with my new job. And um, I have like three new ideas, like really, really fun ideas that I will probably try if I have time to build this weekend because I actually haven't had a day off work in like two weeks, soon to be three weeks straight. Um, so finding time to actually build is tough, but, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and have a great day. Bye.